Hey guys, it's the man here, back with another video. Today we're going to be playing some more, you know, um, Red Flood. Today I'm going to be playing one of the Russian unifiers, Belarus. Which I think has a pretty cool focus tree. I mean, it's pretty cool. You know, it's pretty cool, you know. I I'll have to say more. <laughs> um, where should we start? Um, Life them of Ataman. Ataman, okay. Alrighty then. So we are in the intermium uh, with Poland, Lithuania, and the Ukrainian National Republic. How fun. Basically, we're guys who just left Russia during the Civil War. So, yeah. Seems fun, you know, seems cool. Oh, yeah, we should probably build some stuff now. Yeah. Just build some factories right there. And, uh,. To upgrade our arsenal, you know. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. Um, yeah, let's do that. And uh, we're not we're not going to be using tanks until later, so let's just do that too. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see, who do we have? Uh, some generals. Mikhail Dimsko? Or, I don't know any of these guys. Um, let's just have Hassan. Yeah, he's, he's the highest on our list. So, yeah, just put him right there. Oh, we're missing equipment. Oh, we can't produce anything. Never mind. Let's go and build a... Let's go and build a factory that will be completed in a year. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Alrighty then. Do we have the music on? Uh, yeah. Let's just do Red Flood. Reeling spelling budget from the poor Polish army. Okay, we got fighters too, that's cool. I think this faction was just made to, you know, scary Russia. You know? Because, uh, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Alrighty, for Madagascar. Oh, good start. I don't know what Japan do good on this free year, three month campaign, which if the screw up, you know, leads to collapse of Japan as a whole. I don't know. Usually doesn't happen. And yeah, Madagascar falls into um, chaos, you know, the, us the usual. You know, I was looking a bit more at Red Flood, and actually Prussia used to have a focus tree, yeah. Yeah, it did. But then apparently it caused a lot of bugs, so we scrapped it later in later versions, and now we just don't have a focus tree. So I think that's pretty interesting. Okay, the power struggle. Oh wait, what was the description? Okay, Brazil goes to work itself again. I mean, I don't know. Fortunately, the budget accounting is complete. Unfortunately, it became apparent that neither our public nor our military are monolithic, with so many factions existing, and are all of them be being against Adamon in their power struggle. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good one bit. 
Come on, guys. There we go. We got what we need. And we don't. And we don't have the way of getting those those resources. Fantastic. The Beijing Compromise. Fremont campaign was a failure. Japan is about to collapse. Yep, there we go. So war breaks out in the east. Sagon declares war. Yeah, yeah, you get it. You know what's happening. Okay, come on. There we go. Mechanical computing, let's do that. Okay, let's do trench warfare because it worked in the lap in the last Great Wall. <laughs> Mark's eighth. It looks nice. Korean People's Republic declared war in the Kingdom of Korea. Oh yeah, Kingdom of Korea collapses. Nice. Ugh, politics. I know, right? Question of the Constitution. Oh, Alright, let me read that. Alright. Uh, Belarus is a republic, this is clear, but due to the chain of unfortunate events, our constitutional project was never finished. Power of Atomon being illegally de facto unrestrained unrestricted shall we write a proper constitution or let Adaman govern as he wishes not cool I don't like that I don't know mate is the imperial is imperial Japan gonna win I don't know maybe maybe not maybe they will who knows? But they sure did lose everything. <laughs> Famine and chill. Chil can't say it. Basically, Manchuria. Yeah. He wants this? Oh, Manitsu wants that. Uh oh. Actually, you know, I, I forgot to read that. <laughs> Watch out for the Polish. <laughs> Mewen. The Polish. I'm just joking, mate. But, you know, they are accelerationist. It's a bit scary. I don't like that. They're accelerationist, and I don't like that either. Okay, well, the Korean people's probably the Korea, whatever. Oh, I wonder where I've seen this before. <laughs> nice. Imperial authority goes to war again. Oh, look at that, the Russian state. Watch out for the Polish. Poland may be our ally, not to mention the leader of the Interium, but their influence has become more and more of an obstacle to Belarusian supremacy. Purge or not to, to purge or not to purge? That is the question. Is that the easy question? Uh, France goes to Wolf Paulina, is it dead? Oh, there goes Brazil. Well, Brazil's a democracy now. I guess that's good. German collaborations. You. Bruh. And Goebbels always comes to power. 
Nice. Brazil falls to anarchy. What? There's a fun, you know. Here's a fun fact. Uh, you can't, you can't mute. You can't mute when uh, super events happen in Red Flood. You can for, actually, I think you can for some of, for some events. And uh, wait, what? Jack assassinated. Oh no. Pro Japan survives. I I thought that the Republic of Brazil is supposed to like collapse, like. Fully collapse or something. But I guess not. Brazil was supposed to collapse, like actually just collapse, like foreign factions and whatnot. But I guess not. And everyone's just dead. It's pretty sad, actually. Okay, report by intelligence at, on his desk and a bottle of wine in his hand at him. Was brooding. He was thinking about what to do now. Ooh, oh, Costica inviting? Okay. Institution properly. Evening at Albin. I don't know what to do, mate. Limbs Im imported via Poland from the United Kingdom stood in the pub. Stood in the parking lot near a bit more. Tin shot at him and stabbed S Saganov. Safikanov. Bro. What a legend. Just shoots one and stabs the other. Okay. Let's have that happen. Oh, whoopsie. Is this, is this the right way? Is this the right, is this the right way? Is this the right way? Okay, let me just pause. Oh, whoopsie. This is how it goes. Spawn cliche, cliche conspiracy. It's a conspiracy, man. We can do that stuff later. 
It's a conspiracy, man. What happened to Finland? Okay, Kingdom of Finland. You know, our kingdom goes to wolf some some place that doesn't even doesn't even matter. You know, I was gonna make make a series about the Prussian Congo, but just decided not to do it. So yeah, uh, we lost our leader. Uh, nice, nice, nice. But yeah, um, so we got Tins as a leader now. Uh, let me see if I can find him. Oh yeah, there he is. He's not that. He's not that great. Oh, here it goes. I can't, I can't, I can't do Last time I played, last time I had this, I got copyright. I got copyright claimed. Okay, guys, I can't do this, guys. I'm gonna get copyright claimed. Frick, frick, oh frick, oh frick, oh frick, oh frick, oh frick. I'm gonna get copyright claimed. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I'm gonna get copyright claimed. That's not good. I hope I am just uh, gonna be okay. Yeah, uh, this video has been copyright claimed. Nice, let's go. Nope. Can I train troops now? Nope. Uganda collapses after five seconds. Nice. Black and tons. Cold sip of wool. Oh, it looks like Churchill did not go down the wholesome route. Okay, invite. Uzimer Kelvisqua. Granted how un understandably low in nuclear legitimacy, it was decided one day after lunch that monarchy would be the best form of transforming Belarus according to the new leadership wishes. And as such, Romanov was invited to Minsk. Duke Vladimir Kurovich, the legitimate successor of the Russian throne. His father, however, was exiled to Britain and felt a strong dissident towards Kolchak's Russia. This sedan only strengthened in his son, Vladimir, replied to a letter of Tins with an enthusiastic free page response describing how he would be eager to take command and that he already started learning Belarusian language. So far, it's all going just as planned. I think our king would be great. Yeah. He's a legitimate heir, you know. I think nothing's going to go wrong, guys. I wonder how, how this rush is doing. Alright. Oh, looks. They're going in towards Moscow. Yeah. The Republican Party wins American general election. That's good. Oh, there's the National Front. Looks like it's not going to last too long. Make some light tanks now. Oh, there we go. Now, now it's just completely collapsed. Ooh, what's this? Nikki Bijan. What? A, dem a Japanese democracy in uh in Japan. What? Uh, that's that's kind of cool, I guess. Let's see what other things you got. Mass purging of the generals. Oh boy. Emergency government. Okay. Alexi Alexo Alexo's army. Um. Wait, what? New Polish Republic. We gain territory? Let's go. Mm -hmm. Yo, Poland's Poland's doing is doing great in the world, bro. Look at that, bro. Let's go. Amazonian science. Oh no. Uh oh. Rondo's army. Linto's army. Okay. All right. 
This is just getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. How many Brazilians aren't there now? Um, it's that one who has a Brazil flag. That one. Uh, that one. They're right next to each other. So many of them. F four of them. Oh gosh. Anyway, we know that this guy's gonna get, get destroyed. Alright. Yeah, I didn't realize that we'd actually gain something out of Brazil's misery. Screw it. Um, colonization. Polish colonization of Brazil. You jelly? Claim the Ruthunian Ruth Empire. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at our leader. Look at our new czar. He looks pretty, pretty good, bruh. I, I say he, he looks, he looks nice. Looking snazzy. Prepare the crown. All right, let's go. Hey, it's Christmas. It was Christmas. Nice. Oh, and I think the Russians are about to take Moscow. Anyway, you guys are rally in Minsk. Um, we should make plans for a first for a first invasion of the country. Oh, look at that, the Avant Grande. Out of out of Spain's misery it takes Barcelona and Juarno. How nice of them. Oh, and he lost someone. Uh George Georgies, Albert Mor Morris, Victor Batil, the perverted degenerate and renegade surrealist has taken over Martina. Uh, in an act of defiance against the tyranny of the Sarius government. Alright. Okay. Stay mad, bro. What's going on for them, dude? Okay. Looks like Hong Kong. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I wonder how America's doing. Okay. Oh, uh oh. Who is he? Depending on who you ask, Sigurd Walter is either a power mad dictator or a visionary with ambitious plans for Finland, or just plain crazy. What does he plan to do? Um. Oh yeah, I've heard about this guy. He plans to take over Egypt because he thinks he's a pharaoh. Or something. This will be interesting. All hail Yuzermar! Guests were gathered. An honored guard was waiting outside the Holy Spirit Cathedral, guarding the red carpet road for the crowd. Gosh, our czar is so great. Published Imperial Manifesto. This is going to be epic, guys. Syria declared war. The Kingdom of Syria declared war on Israel. Republic victory in the Spanish Civil War. Well, that's good, but they had to deal with this guy. I don't know if you want to take back the land or something. Oh no, Bisrael, led by Ergen Sturgen, St Ergen Stern. Greece, I wonder what's happening in Greece, bro. Yeah, this is a, this is getting interesting, bro. 
stepping out into the world. Oh, nice. Also no democracy and all that jazz. Yeah, this is gonna be it is it's nice bro. It's nice bro. Uh anyways. Uh hmm. I think we've we've extended our time to enough today. Um I'll be playing more next time guys. So uh in this video, uh, we got we got we got Belarus uh, monarchy. We're gonna retake all of the Russian land, and uh, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna just do radical dudes. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Aiden Man out.